So, you have a John Wick sequel for me? Yes, sir, I do. So this one's gonna be called John Wick Chapter 2. Oh, it was a book this whole time. No, it wasn't. So at the beginning of this movie, John Wick's killing a bunch of people trying to get his Mustang back, right? Oh, boy. Yeah, it's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be like bumper cars, but with murder. <laughs> Is there any other kind? Yes. Okay, well, that explains the Six Flags ban, doesn't it? Oh, you might be going to jail. So John goes to see the brother of the bad guy from the first movie, and he's like, I want peace, actually. Oh, he doesn't kill him? He doesn't. So then he goes home, because he wants to be retired again and hang out with his new dog. Understandable. But then this guy Santino shows up. And what's his deal? Well, it turns out back in the day, he helped John retire in exchange for a marker. Like one of those scented ones? No, this is like an IOU thing. He can use it at any time to make John assassinate someone. So John got out of the assassin game in exchange for a thing that would immediately bring him back into the assassin game. That's right. Oh, very bad plan. So Santino wants John Wick to kill someone for him, but John is like, nah. Oh. Okay, well, I guess we don't need any action in the sequel. I don't know, sir. There's gonna be action. They're gonna piss John Wick off, and he's gonna have no choice but to get involved. Okay. You see, in the first movie, they killed his dog, and in this one, they blow up his house. Why would they blow up the dog's house? They blow up John Wick's house. That makes more sense. So then John goes to see that Winston guy at the Continental Assassin Hotel, and Winston's like, yeah, that's a marker. You gotta do whatever this guy says. Bummer. So what is this job? Well, he wants John to kill his sister Gianna, because she's about to be put on the high high table of assassins in Rome. Okay. So John is like, that's an impossible job. That can't be done. And so Santino's like, yeah, that's why I want you. Oh, so it's gonna be tough to get to her. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, it turns out he gets a map that leads directly to her dressing room where she's totally unguarded. And so then why did Santino specifically need John Wick? Unclear. So then John tries to just walk out through her big coronation party instead of through the secret tunnels he came in by. Interesting strategy. How does that work out for him? Oh, not well, sir. He's spotted by Gianna's personal bodyguard, Cassian, pretty much right away. Oh, that didn't work out at all. Not really, no. But now we get this awesome action scene where John Wick murders a bunch of people at a party. That does sound like a cool setting for the murders. It is. The lighting is crazy. There's a bunch of people. There's Tilda Swinton on the turntables. What? And so John shoots a bunch of people in the head and escapes. Amazing. This guy's great for the funeral industry. I guess he is. So now Santino wants John Wick dead to kind of tie up loose ends, you know? But John Wick, he's very hard to kill. Yeah, he really should have thought about having someone else walk through that empty tunnel to kill his sister if he planned on double-crossing him. Probably. So John goes back to New York, and he finds out that Santino put a $7 million bounty on his head. Okay. And that's how we're gonna find out just how intense this underground assassin society really is. What do you mean? Well, let's just say they could swing an election if they wanted to. But with, like, a strategic political assassination? No, just sheer numbers. Oh, my God. Yeah, it turns out there's an insane number of assassins out there, and they all get notified about this bounty. Oh, uh, secret organizations that are actually mainstream are tight. So now John's got to fight all these assassins that are popping out of nowhere, like one of them's a musician in the subway. Does she just stand around playing music all day till she gets a murder notification on her phone? It would seem so, sir. Huh. And also, John's gonna have to go up against that Cassian guy again. Oh, he is? You see, they're both at this fountain surrounded by a bunch of people, so as soon as the water turns on, they shoot at each other. Isn't that kind of reckless of John with all the innocent bystanders? Well, he's very good at hitting his target, so he knows what he's doing. Oh, so he hits Cassian? Oh, no, he misses. Oh, okay. So then we're gonna have this funny scene where they're shooting at each other with silencers, and everybody around them's completely oblivious. I mean, guns with silencers still make a decent amount of noise. No, they don't. People don't hear the bullet impacts and the concrete flying and whatnot? No, they don't. Well, okay, then. So John finally stabs Cassian and then manages to escape some other assassins with the help of a homeless guy. Oh, that's nice of the homeless guy. What inspired him to help? Yeah. Yeah, well, the thing about this guy is that he's an assassin, too. Right, I should have guessed that. And he's part of a massive network of other homeless people assassins. Is anyone not an assassin? Uh... Uh, John Wick's dog, he's not an assassin. Oh, uh, what a good boy. For now. Okay. So then John goes to see the leader of the Homeless People Assassin Network, and I was thinking we could get Lawrence Fishburne to play him. They're both in another movie together. They sure are, sir. Amazing. So John has to make a deal with this guy, because he desperately needs a gun. He can't fight with his hands and then steal someone's gun? Irrelevant. Kind of relevant. Irrelevant. So this guy's like, all right, the bounty's $7 million. I'm going to give you a gun with seven bullets. Oh, I bet that's 
going to come into play later. You'd think so, but no, no, not really. Oh, okay. So then John goes to this museum where Santino is, and he immediately starts killing people and taking their guns. Right, because, yeah. And eventually he gets to this hall of mirrors, which, as you know, means it's impossible for him to hear where the bad guy's yelling from. Of course, I've seen movies. Me too. So then John takes out a bunch of guys that are bigger than him, which leads us to the climax of the fight. Oh, which is? A battle of strength between him and someone 95 pounds lighter than him. That's, I feel like there's no contest there. Yeah, and so then he wins because of, you know, the weight difference. How would she have? There was no way. So then what happens? Well, then John shoots Santino in the head at the Continental Hotel, which is not allowed in the world of assassins. Oh, yeah, why'd he do that? To set up the next movie. Oh, that's thoughtful of him. So then Winston tells him that the bounty on his head has now doubled and been expanded globally. Uh-oh. And because he likes him, he's giving him an hour head start before he sends the message out. Wow, well, sounds pretty serious. It is. And then Winston shows off a little flash mob thing he organized. Everybody around them just stops. What? A little flash mob. Why would he... Why would he organize that? Well, you know, to, like, to show John how powerful the organization is. I mean... John knows that, doesn't he? He's part of the organization. Yeah, well, still pretty cool. Why would that must have taken so much planning? A li yeah, yeah, probably. He had to gather them all there, brief them on when to surprise John, have people block off access to normal civilians walking by. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, he really wanted to send this message to John, though. You know that he already knew. That he already knew. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I mean, all right. So then John and his dog have to run away. Well, the dog probably thinks they're just going for a fun little run. Well, the dog's probably having a pretty good time. And so then that's it. What do you think? Oh, well, it sounds like a lot of fun, you know? Thank you. I just want to make sure we don't lose sight of the simple grittiness of the first movie, you know? Let's not go too over the top with things, especially in the third one. Oh, yeah, of course not. Hey everybody, Ryan here, that's me, thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, feel free to click the like button and the subscribe button and all, you know, buttons of that nature. You can also leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. There are also like hundreds of other episodes on the channel that you can check out if you want. As always, check back soon for a new one. Bye, bye, bye.